Somehow, some way, we avoided the raindrops today. Mother Nature really treated us to a nice day. We had the rain off to our west, and especially to the east, where they had some flash flooding in the Charlotte area. And with all that sunshine, it got really toasty. 87 in Greenville, 85 in Clemson, 87 in Anderson. But it felt warmer because it was all that humidity in the air. The air you can wear, just uh, kind of miserable. 82 in Franklin, 83 in Asheville, and 87 to Greenwood. Looking outside right now. Now I-85, the interchange of 385, it's dry. Well, this may not be the case all night into tomorrow morning. You can see the clouds out there right now. It's quiet in Greenville, and it is mild and muggy. Still, this hour, 77 in Clemson and Greenville, 77 in Tacoa, Abbeville, 73, 73 in Asheville, and 72 in Rutherfordton. So if you don't have the AC, who it's going to be a struggle. It's going to be tough as we go through the overnight into tomorrow morning. So it was dry during the day, and then the sun went down, and boom, you started to see these showers and storms erupting, moving from south to north across the area and they've been pulsing meaning that they strengthen and then they fall apart and then they can strengthen again and right now we have some stronger storms near Oakway just off to your north and west into Oconee County and then just south of west of six mile as well some of these are moving very slow with a lot of rain so really be careful out there watch for the torrential rain seeing more of those showers as well back in areas in northeast Georgia a few light showers around Spartanburg nothing in Greenville right now and just a few scattered sprinkles into the mountains at the present time, but farther to the south, we had a pretty good line of showers and storms across eastern Georgia. But look, as it's moving to the north, it tends to fade out. So these storms really are unpredictable. Some of them fade away and then they strengthen again. We've got low pressure across the central plains and high pressure moving off the east coast. So it's the flow right in between that's bringing in all this very juicy air out of the Gulf of Mexico and then translating it into showers and storms for us. So here's future cast at midnight. This is not the exact location will be seeing showers and storms, but it gives us kind of a, a feeling of where they will be and that they will be scattered about. And then through the overnight, I think they'll tend to fade away a little bit. 7 a.m. isolated showers. Make sure you have the umbrella handy just in case, because as we go through the day, especially into the afternoon, we're going to pop up more of these storms as they move through the area by the evening hours. A lot of those with very heavy rain and gusty winds that continue into the overnight hours. And then moving into Tuesday, guess what? We do it all again. Again, we're going to see more of those showers and storms, especially into the afternoon, evening and overnight. Then on Wednesday, our flow starts to turn in out of the west a little bit. I think we'll start to decrease the chances for storms just a little bit. But look at all the green on the map. Here's our long range forecast Wednesday afternoon. Still muggy, still that chance of showers and storms, especially across the mountains and points west. And it looks like that trend continues Friday and then into next weekend as well. And look at the rainfall potential between now and Friday, half inch to an inch and a half, and some places even more than that under some of these torrential storms. And it will be very muggy and humid, and it's going to feel... Pretty miserable, fairly humid to steamy with those dew point temperatures into the 60s and 70s. For tonight, 69 for the upstate with scattered showers and storms. And for the mountains, a low of only 66 for you with scattered showers and storms. And looking at lower 80s around Greer, Calpens, 83 and more with mainly afternoon and evening storms. 83 in Liberty, 84 in Abbeville and 96. 70s into the mountains, Silva, 76 Bryson City at 76. Carolina Sky Meter for tomorrow because of the clouds and storms. I did give it a seven, so not a perfect day. 82 tomorrow, 83 Tuesday for the upstate 86 Wednesday. The best chance of those storms come Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Storm chances decrease. Temperature gets hot close to 90 by next Saturday and then for the mountains, 70s and 80s for you. Showers and thunderstorms essentially every day. So get ready for this summer pattern. Make sure you log on to foxcarolina.com and also check in with the crew in the morning. Kylie and Nicole will have the very latest on your forecast to get you out the door. The morning news begins at 4 30 a.m.